Hi, I'm George Cow, and today I'm with Claire Marie Barton, and she's going to be, she has a special gift with sound healing that she's going to be sharing with us. But first, uh, I'm going to have her share a little bit about uh, the lessons that she's learned in growing her business, and then we'll get into uh, what sound healing is and, and how you know, she can actually do a bit of a demonstration for us. So that, I'm excited for that. Let me begin by reading out. Well, first of all, hello, Claire. Thanks for being here. Thanks for. Hi, this. George. Yeah, Thanks for thank having you. me. So let me, uh, Claire, let me read your bio so that those who are watching can have some context for what you do. Claire is a holistic therapist and she offers sound healing, angel card readings, and I'll have you talk a bit about that, as well as assemblage point alignment. And I'll have you, I'll ask you about that too. Uh, she does this in West Cork, Ireland, as well as on the internet. Uh, her work is all about connection to self and creating space for healing, especially regarding emotional issues. She is the author of the book, Letting Go, A Mother's Healing Journey Through Diaries, Poetry, and Song. And she teaches beginner ukulele classes for adults, which are currently locally uh, in Ireland. So Claire, thank you for being here and sharing with us. Thanks, George. Yeah. So a um, couple of the, you know, we'll just touch on the business lessons briefly, and then I'm going to ask you some of the questions about the work that you do and how you do some demonstration uh, of the sound healing. So, uh, you know, one of the things that you've been learning uh, is about letting go of perfectionism. Um, maybe you can talk a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, when I started um, doing my sound healing business, I was really excited because I'd discovered sound healing and I'd done my course and I'd done my angel card reading course. So I was all ready to go and just really wanted to get into the work. And then I kind of suddenly realized that I needed to have the business side of things as well. And that's something that I had no real training in in the past. and. I just had to make friends with the word marketing um, and try and find um, a way with that. And, you know, finding you and doing your courses last year when you were doing, offering um, your um, courses on Facebook and different things like that. I started doing them and started learning. And I think in the past like year and a half, I've been doing a lot of learning learning new skills techie skills computer skills um, and then using things like facebook um, and in that i would find i would get overwhelmed really quite easily and i was in a mode of perfection and the problem about being in perfection is that it paralyzes you from doing anything so when you think about doing your website and think, okay, I'm going to do my website and then, oh, but it has to be like this, this and this, and it's going to be amazing. And then I found like I'd done nothing on my website for like six months and I couldn't get past that. So a big lesson for me has been to, to just do it, um, you know, and, and improve as I go. So I think it's better to have a website that isn't beautiful but has the information how to contact you and has some relevant information. And then as I go, I'll tweak it and make it better. So I can still have that picture of what I want it to be like, but that it won't stop me from, from doing it. And so I've been trying to bring that into, you know, all the aspects of my work. And that's been difficult um, because it's, it's work in progress. And whenever I find myself not doing something, I realize it's because wanting to have a certain standard or perfection is stopping me. Um, and then I just have to go, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to do it anyway. So that's been one of my big lessons, really. Mm, thank you for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. It, in the act of creation, and this is probably true with, with music too, you know, it's like... Mm we hear a professional musician and we're like, oh gosh, look, look where I'm at. You know, how is that even possible? But then step by step as we practice, it gets better and better. We sound a little bit closer and closer to what we hear the professionals doing. And same thing with websites. Yeah, it's not how can we expect, uh, you know, 
we're, we're especially if we're creating our own website how can we expect it to look like a professional's you know when we're just starting out but yes like you said you know realizing hey at least people need to find how to contact us at least they need to see what the information is for our upcoming event you know just start with the basics and then we'll add more features or add more design uh sophistication or something over time so yeah thank you for thank you for saying that yeah. um i'd love to talk about your work and um there are three things you know we introduce in your bio and just maybe you could touch on each of these a little bit um we'll save the sound healing for last because that's you're going to give us an example an example of that okay uh, what is angel card readings what is that what is that and how yeah tell us more about that Okay, well, um, there are angels trying to give us messages all the time in many different ways. And it doesn't have to be with cards, but if we tune in and ask for help, that I believe that help is given to us um, and we'll get little signs of encouragement. And they can be totally personal to us and we can have this really personal relationship with our angels. And when we're looking for messages they have to make sense to us so it's something that resonates with us and we'll know in our hearts yes this is a message and it doesn't work if you tell someone else it's skeptical or what you know as a skeptic and they go ah yeah but you know this is a coincidence it's not for them it's for it's for your own it's for your own connection but the angel cards are just um, a really nice tool that help us connect. So it makes it a little bit easier for like the translation because sometimes we're just like, we're not able to see the signs and we can just ask a simple question and pick an angel card quite often. We'll get um, a card that really resonates and makes a lot of sense or we can just use it as a tool, a daily tool for the day, starting your day. Um, what, what, what do I need to know today? Or what's something I can focus So you can use the cards like that. So I've been using, I've been um, doing angel card readings now for the last few years and I trained with Reverend Elvia um, in, on, online and, um, it, it's been it's been an amazing journey and I've also been doing the sound healing kind of at the same time so I was offering the two services separately but I noticed that a lot of times when people are coming for a reading um, they can be very polarized because something big has happened or they want a, a yes no answer but more than that they want the right answer they know what they want the answer to be so in some ways, then there's a maybe people can be closed to what the angels, what the, the message might be, because it mightn't come in the form that they want. It mightn't be what they want to hear. And the readings I do are very um, gentle and empowering. So it's never like, oh, you have to do this or, you know, it's, it's not like that at all. But it just it's, it's to kind of get an insight because I think when we're, when we're preoccupied with our own stuff, we can't get any perspective. It's really hard to see another perspective. And I think that's where the angel cards readings can come in handy because they just shine the light in another place and they, they shine the light on you and what you can do. Because sometimes we're in a situation and we feel so disempowered and we're talking about another person and what they're doing and how they're making your life miserable or whatever. And really it's about bringing it back to ourselves. Are we attracting and what do we want to attract? And why might certain patterns and relationships um, be happening in our lives? And what can we do um, to help that? And usually that, that's kind of connected to the chakra work as well. And it'll be looking at where there's balance needed in different places. So it's, it's very gentle kind of guidance. Um, and then I found that when I did sound healing first, and then people were really relaxed, they were really open, even when they had come mainly for the reading and weren't that interested in the sound healing, 
they were just very receptive and rather than sometimes I'd say would you like to ask a question or would you just like to hear what the angels have to say to you and quite often they'll, they'd say oh I'll just hear what the angels have to say and that's really nice then because there's no um there's this kind of you're taking the agenda off and you still get the same answer you know even and but and it resonates it, it makes sense um so that's why I, I I now offer sound healing and angel cards readings together because they kind of they it's it, they're like two different parts that kind of come together to give you a better insight really into what's going on with yourself and it's part of the connecting to yourself when you're in that safe space yeah and i think that's one of the things that makes you unique is the combination of these two modalities you might say to heal transform guide give insight so uh let, let's actually take the rest of the time uh or some of the rest of the time just a couple minutes for you okay. to show us a bit about sound healing so um before this uh, before we started you mentioned about maybe yeah. balancing our chakras using vowel sounds so teach us about yeah that. okay so um just i just say just a couple of words about about sound healing in case um someone hasn't heard of it before so it's basically using sound in um in a therapeutic way so it's kind of beyond music it's it's incorporating music obviously but it's it's coupling intention and sound the vibration of sound and the combination is really powerful and it works on all levels of the body it works in mental emotional spiritual levels so it, it really is powerful and i suppose how, why i was attracted to it more because it's it's um it's really profound in a spiritual level and for emotional um, clearing and it can really help with that it can get to the core of issues and in my sessions i love to talk to people and i love to create a space where they feel safe and if they want to talk that's perfect they can and they can do that but some people don't want to talk they're very private or something terrible has happened to them and they just don't want to talk about it and that's absolutely fine i don't need to um have them speak because i'm setting an intention in the session for their healing and for their highest good and the sounds that are best for them i ask to come through me and sometimes they'll sound really nice and sometimes they'll be quite strong they won't necessarily be nice but it'll be the tones and the sounds that are that are needed and i just trust that the right sounds will come through for the right person and that sense they um they um they just get to just get to relax um and sometimes emotions will come up and they mightn't be able to put a name on it and that's fine too because we're not trying to go into our heads and the sound just goes in where it's needed and it can it can do some really beautiful healing so usually at the start of a, a session i'll work through the chakras so i'll be balancing the chakras and there's various different ways of doing that but one of the easiest ways um to do it is using the vowel sounds so we take the o o a a e and and then and kind of a high pitched o for the for the the crown chakra so we're starting down in the base chakras and and working up so we're using the the seven chakra system and it's i'll i'll demonstrate it now um, and when i'm doing it it will be balancing your chakras basically and anyone who's listening it, it just listening to it will balance your chakras and the other thing is you can do this it's so simple like you can do this yourself so, or you can you can re-listen um, and it will do it the same thing but it's something this the kind of almost the magical thing about sound healing is that there isn't anything magical about it in so far as anyone can do it it's just a matter of of claiming it and, and doing it so it's i think it's a very nice practice to do for yourself and you can do it on any note um and you can do it like if you find one chakra is a bit stuck or 
or you're enjoying it, then you can just keep going for a little bit longer. Um, but today I'm just going to do, I'm going to do three breaths on each chakra and unless I feel drawn to do it longer on any particular one. So will I yeah. just do that then? Yeah, that's great. And we've got about five minutes. So yeah, just, uh, yeah. just whatever we can do okay. in that time is great. Yeah, perfect. So if you, you might want to close your eyes and take a nice deep breath.
just like to take three nice deep breaths. Just start to wriggle your fingers and toes. When you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you, Claire. Uh, I, you have done some sound work with virtually with people over the internet, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And it's worked um, most of the time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a slightly different setup for that, but I, I, use, I use Zoom as well. And mm. yeah, so I love, I love working online with people because it's amazing how much we can connect even when we're not in the same room and I can still um, feel into what, what's going on for them. And I also give an audio, I record the sessions and I, I, the sessions are recorded on an audio recorder. So it won't, it, it won't have any, um, sometimes it can be not quite as good going through the internet, but um, the recording I will send out is, is a, is a, is a better version. That's great. But, um, yeah. Thank you for your work. I will be sure to put the link to your website, your Facebook page, so that people can check it out. You have a monthly sound bath, and that's through the internet as yes. well. And yes. uh, you have a different setup. I think it's more optimal than probably yeah. today's connection. So I encourage folks who are watching this, you want to experience that, to check that out. It's in the link below. And Claire, thank you so much for being part of this call. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks. Take care.